everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.com. Today's project is a little simple one for you. It is a little box which I've decorated using this Santa hat. And inside it holds two, if I can get one out, two little tea lights. Um, these are the Yankee Candle ones that smell amazing. My craft room, because these have been sitting around um, for a few days, it just smells amazing without even lighting them. The Santa's hat comes from the Snowplace stamp set. I've just used it to give it that little DSP look. So let's get on and show you how we made it. I thought we would um, make one a bit different actually this morning rather than a Christmas one. I thought we would make one, um, just a, a general one. So we're going to use a favourite colour combination of mine which is Early Espresso and Crushed Curry. And to stamp we are going to use Petite Petals which is a an old favourite stamp set and we're going to use this one here. So we're going to start with some stamping. We're going to do that on the piece of crushed curry cardstock. I didn't give you the measurements, they will be on my blog as always, but um, the crushed curry bit which is going to be the wrap measures nine and a quarter inches by two inches wide and the early espresso bit measures two and three eighths of an inch by eight and a half inches. So let's do some stamping on our early espresso already mounted my stamp set and I have some Early Espresso ink. We're going to stamp on the crushed curry piece. I think I said Early Espresso, didn't I? So, just a bit of scrap paper underneath. And I'm just going to stamp this flower all over in a random pattern. Just like this. As always, there is no right or wrong way of stamping. You're just aiming to create a pretty pattern all over your cardstock. Make sure you do re-ink every time so you get a really good um, image. So that is, that is that done. And what we are going to do is just chop off the ends of this um, to make these nice and decorative using the, this is the ornate tag topper punch. So I'm just going to feed that cardstock into the punch and we're going to do that on both edges. Okay, this is a really super easy, super quick make. Um, I think they'll make a great gift. I'm probably going to give some out to some of the ladies in my office. I think they'd also sell well at the moment in craft fairs. Let's put this set piece to one side for the moment and we'll do a bit of scoring on our early espresso piece. So with the long side at the top of our scoreboard, we're going to score it at three and one eighth of an inch at four inches, at seven and one eighth of an inch, and at eight inches. Okay, turn it round, and we are just gonna score it at seven eighths of an inch. There we go, okay. We will quickly score and burnish all of those, fold and burnish all of those score lines. Very quickly now. And then with our scissors, we are going to chop up each of these four lines that we've made up to that first score line. So we're very, this is very simple box construction. I'm going to chop up this edge bit here, this little rectangle, and we're just going to notch out lightly those um, two squares. There we go, okay. A bit of fuse will help us put this together. So we're gonna firstly put some fuse along this strip here. So that's that end little rectangle. And when this falls up, this is gonna be our back. So this is gonna be our piece that comes forward. So I'm just gonna put a bit of snail along there. Okay, that's gonna be our base. So what I'm gonna do is then fold these pieces back just out of the way, leave that bit with the glue sticking on. And what you can then do is fold this over and it will stick down easily onto that flap. So that will pop up and be our box section. Fold in our ends, our small flaps, our basin like this. And then we can just press this one we put the fuse on, press that down. 
there we go and that's our little box made okay pop in our tea lights which should fit two of them will fit perfectly in that little box and then what we want to do is wrap all this up punch them together there so they line up and then I just like to pinch pinch them into position on the round the bottom of the box and then just go over those pinch lines with your bone folder to make them nice and neat okay then I'm just going to put a little bit of fuse along the base and on either side of those fold lines can you see where I put that yeah and then we can just bring our box in and stick that down in the center just going to do it by eye there we go fold that up and then we are just ready to add a little bit of ribbon this is um, early espresso cotton ribbon just going to feed it firstly through the hole on one side now remember our um, our tag tapper punch made that hole for us bring it round um, and this is going to go through this hole here on this side there we go snip that off and we can just then tie this up in a little knot to keep that neatly closed there we go cut off those tails a little bit okay there we go I think that looks rather pretty um, on this one, um, which was real red, I've just stamped a little sentiment, Merry Christmas, this is from the um, Teeny Tiny Sentiment set. But on this one, I thought I would use something different, and this is one of the wooden message embellishments, and I was just going to stick that across the bottom there, I think that looks quite nice. I'm going to stick it down using the fine nib glue pen. Just round like this. plenty on there okay makes putting sticking these things down super easy so just gonna push that down and again by eye stick that in the middle something like that just give it a second to dry oh a bit more of a second and that will dry and then we will have this fine nib glue just takes a little bit longer to set off I find rather than like tumble um, or something like that you could use tumble of course a glue duct on the back that there there we go and there we go two very quick but I think very very pretty um, tea light boxes I hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to buy any stamping up products it would be my pleasure and honour to place that order for you please don't hesitate to get in touch hope to see you again soon bye bye